I couldn't let it go. It's just witnessing the human suffering. Veterans back from the battlefield with physical and mental scars. They had a roofer putting in a new roof. The sound of the nail gun, I dropped to the ground. They lived through war, but can they survive their personal demons? There's certainly a relationship between PTSD and suicide. Maybe six times in the last 10 years where I thought about it. 22 veterans take their own lives every day. Tonight, helping our heroes overcome post-traumatic stress disorder with the use of technology and the comfort provided by man's best friend. The days that I get down, she'll come and she'll sit on my lap and it's just, it's instantly calming. A Huckabee Memorial Day special, Outrage. So the president's Rose Garden press conference with the Prime Minister of Turkey a couple of weeks ago was interrupted by some raindrops. The president called on a couple of U.S. Marines to hold an umbrella over them. I'm sure the Marines were willing and ready to do whatever the commander-in-chief requested, but I couldn't help but cringe at the command for Marines to keep the president dry. Look, it's true the president's been rained on over a growing series of scandals, but instead of the president calling in the Marines to protect him from rain, I wish he'd call them in to protect our ambassador in Benghazi. Yeah. And as for the umbrella, there was something unseemly about having Marines hold an umbrella, a task easily assigned to any White House flack. In fact, it might have been a great opportunity for the president to simply request the umbrella and hold it himself. Our military is called upon to risk their lives for us, and many do just that. They're called upon to take on the toughest task that even exists on this planet. And it would appear that sometimes the most menial tasks are kind of beneath their training as warriors. Yet sadly, many of these heroes who come home face another enemy, the demons of post-traumatic stress disorder and a federal bureaucracy that makes our veterans wait to get treated. There are 22 suicides a day among veterans, and it's time we put this issue front and center. I recently had the incredible privilege of serving as MC of an event to honor recipients of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Of the 80 living Medal of Honor recipients, 12 of them were at the event. I gotta tell you, I stand in awe of these living and true American heroes. Ordinary men called upon to do extraordinary things, putting their lives in the path of bullets and bombs in order to save others. Their gallantry is the stuff of which movies are made, yet few Americans could even name one Medal of Honor recipient. We live in a culture of celebrities sports celebrities, music celebrities, movie celebrities, even political celebrities. And there are some people who are famous for just being famous. But while celebrities might sell tickets and CDs and sign autographs and pose for photos, being a celebrity isn't being a hero. Heroes aren't necessarily famous, but I sure wish they were. I wish the real American heroes who have received the Congressional Medal of Honor were famous and that every kid in this entire country knew their names and had posters of them on their wall. I wish that we put supreme value on the unselfish people who risk their lives for the rest of us instead of just people who simply entertain us. Don't get me wrong, look, I, I don't begrudge the people who entertain us. I just don't believe they're heroes. Those who serve in uniform, those are heroes. <coughs> And on this Memorial Day weekend, I hope you take a moment to get on your knees, close your eyes, and say a prayer of thanks for those whose names you may not know, but whose actions gave you freedom. And yes, they are heroes.